and let's see. It says we're live on YouTube. Uh, brilliant. Thank you, everyone, uh, for for attending today's um, OpenJS Standards Working Group meeting. Today is July 13th. Um, this is our bi-weekly meeting with a number of our colleagues at the OpenJS Foundation and at uh, Project Communities who care about web standards and other standards too. Um, we have a somewhat light agenda today. So we'll start with uh, yes, announcements yeah. as usual. Um, what do we have in the way of announcements? Robin, I'm gonna have to rely on you because I've been out for two weeks. <laughs> Um, I think the only thing is we have a program committee meeting that we are going to keep this Thursday to talk about OpenJS World 2022, if you're interested in participating. Um, have we met since our last board meeting? I don't think so. I think this is our first meeting since the last board meeting. Yeah, I'm trying to think, Sonal, if we had... Um, a public board, if we've had sort of a public report, speaking of our last event, uh, Rachel did do a, a, a reading of our last event and some of the results there. Um, and what else? I think the only thing I can think of is there's more action happening um, to convene the next meeting for our collaboration space on security issues. So if that's also something you're interested in, um, reach out to me. I have a doodle poll going, but it looks like we'll have a meeting this Friday or Monday. So. Um, I think also maybe of interest to this group is uh, it, the working session that we just had for the CPC on um, tech strategy. I was just realizing that, um, you know, one of our mandates here in the standards working group being to help um, foster more frequent and meaningful collaboration between our project communities and, and our um, and, and our standards liaison groups. Uh, I think that there's probably some overlap of interest there and with the uh, conversations that the CPC are having around like, you know, how to support projects and how to get them more benefits. So I think that's a space that if you're interested, uh, definitely um, check out issue 754 on the uh, on the CPC repository. Uh, any other announcements? Okie doke. Uh, hearing none, um, the uh, first agenda item that we have, actually, I think we should have taken the uh, item off of off today's agenda. This is number 144 requesting 10 minutes to discuss API translation efforts. This was Mike Samuel last uh, meeting. He, he did this, but I think there's a slight update. Mike, do you want to share um, quickly kind of for those who attended last week, uh, kind of the up update since uh, your presentation? Uh, on uh, presenting uh, translated APIs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, there's a group of us chatting this Friday at... Uh, let me just look at my calendar and not get it wrong. Um, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so uh, we're going to uh, uh, a number of people, I think, uh, who are interested in this kind of thing. If anybody else wants to, um, I think we're keeping this meeting short uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, small uh, and short uh, uh, just to try to uh, uh, figure out like how this fits into other things and, and, and uh, where to kind of, you know, like, well, basically what we're going to do. <laughs> um, but uh, it's, it's very high level. And, uh, and then uh, we're going to try and use that to figure out a schedule for a wider uh, uh, kind of more regular thing. So um, yeah, this is mostly a, a information and agenda setting thing. Awesome. And uh, if anybody uh, 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 from uh, the standard Slack kind of is interested in, in lurking, I'm, I, we could probably accommodate some more people. So for now, I'll, um, I'll remove the uh, label if that's... Uh... Sure. Okay, cool. All right, great. And it's just... Uh -huh. Well, 
All right, uh, next agenda item is um, to document delegates and delegate approval process. This was issue one, uh, 142, um, raised kind of in just acknowledgement that this uh, hasn't been kind of revisited in, in a while. Um, connected to this, there was a pull request. This is um, PR number 148, uh, that says update member Rep representation uh, to partially close um, uh, close this issue. Um, I, I think there was some discussion about kind of additional information that we might want to to put uh, in the file. Right now, it's fairly you know um, lightweight in terms of just you know what's the group and who are the delegates, but there may be uh, I think to Jordan's point some want or need to also affiliate uh, company affiliation, um, but uh, open for discussion on on that, or if we think this is like, you know, good enough to get started or what more might be needed. I think we did touch on this one last time as well. Uh, and it was essentially where I think we landed was that, was, was uh, there should be a list of all of the people in the foundation and they're that are standards adjacent, which standards they're adjacent to, and then which uh, who they represent in those standards. So could you just so I am like following clearly, could you, could yeah. you give me like maybe a, a more like specific? So like, for example, we would list Richard Gibson as an open JS foundation delegate to TC39. We would list myself as a Coinbase delegate to TC39. We would list uh, uh -huh. Emily as, uh, you know, whatever the, the term is to describe message, his involvement with message format and so on, uh, you know, with his employer. Um, kind of just all of us that are, um, all, all, you know, that are on these calls basically, um, and perhaps mm -hmm. even just what, in general in the foundation uh, and then what standards we're connected to. Oh, okay, I see. Um, so this actually kind of expands it to help it maybe be more useful when um, say community members from the node community are also participating in you know mm -hmm. a, a committee but are doing so on behalf of their um, right. employer so it kind of helps make the that more um, clear right okay. the other alternative is we go with the much more tighter scope which is we only list the official openjs foundation delegates to things which is about a very small list and sort of uh, hides all the standards work that is being mm -hmm. done by folks that aren't officially representing the foundation. Mm, yeah, good point. I mean, the first, the first approach is more inclusive and better highlights all of like the impact that our projects have. The second approach is strictly speaking more clear in terms of which persons have the ha, have have a responsibility, uh, right? And the I mean, with the with that more restrictive ex approach as well, the decision we made last week that official delegates should uh, prefer an alternative representative when available, like that sort of only works if we're not privileging foundation representation in a way that that restrictive list would do. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure, haven't we decided to do this as this effectively the sensible way already previously? And this is just reiterating that? That's my recollection, yeah. Uh, that, that very well may be the case. Emily, I'm just, uh, I've been on vacation for two. I forgot your names. I forgot my name, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Uh, I've forgotten a lot, uh, but uh, so so I appreciate the um, the refresh. Okay, so it sounds like there's a lot more to then to expand on this. We're missing a number of people, um, but uh, I, I'm cool with sort of updating the PR and then just like uh, PRing names in as we um, as, as we uh, remind ourselves. So, and I, actually, this is kind of a nice thing because we can. Um, just put a call out to the projects and say, you know, hey, if you're if you're participating in, um, say, a W3C working group or whatever, uh, and you know, uh, affiliated with one of our projects, and you're 
also doing that on behalf of your employer. Like we want to kind of show how everything is connected. Everything is connected. So, so I like that. Um, uh, I had a quick one. Uh, uh, would, would, I'm not able to recall, would OpenJS Foundation be a paid ECMA member or uh, delegates here would be like invited experts? So um, OpenJS is a non-for-profit member, not-for-profit member at ECMA International. Um, so that allows us to work on one TC and send, uh, send a delegate. Um, I, they don't have any restrictions on the number of delegates we can send, um, but it does, of course, uh, because we are a ourselves a member organization, um, require us to operate very carefully, very thoughtfully, um, and make sure that uh, we're following the rules, not not um, causing any issues for the committee's proceedings. Because we have people from multiple parties, and we ourselves cannot uh, com cannot sign IP commitments on behalf of like you who may work at you know PayPal or a big company so we have to be very careful the other thing is in tc39's case the committee invites experts not ECMA members. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. okay cool so it sounds like on uh that pr i will uh, make a few tweaks and we will uh get rolling on that um so those were the only two agenda items for today we do have this other larger project um which is the um, the website project that if uh, if with with your permission unless actually let me let me ask this question is there any other business I did think of one more announcement um, that I forgot uh, today is the uh, W3C's um, AC office hours with the uh, uh, W3C's CEO and, and staff. Um, I'll be attending that a bit later. I think Brian Cardell will as well. Um, so if there's any questions or any um, uh, thing you, you'd like us to ask on behalf of your project, um, uh, would just let us know. We'd be happy to, to uh, share that. And of course, we'll share any cool news that may come out of that, those AC sessions um, later today. So that's a, that's a news update. And TPAC, they've announced TPAC. Check out their the W3C video for TPAC later this uh, uh, this fall. So that's an update I forgot. Um, okay, so if there's no other business that uh, this group uh, might have, I, I would love to talk a little bit more about the um, the website uh, for the learning materials that we've been kind of working on. Um, if you'll recall, uh, one of our uh, decisions was to actually put uh, this resource in a new repository, and that is uh, the standards-ed-site repository. Let me uh, copy that and pop it into Zoom in case you want a quick link to it. Um, there we go. Where's chat? Uh, so... I think the, the, the question for this group is, do we feel we have enough material uh, to maybe just go ahead and start with a, a low, lower fidelity V1 uh, of the site? Uh, that's, that's one question. And, you know, um, I, I hate to ask this question. Does anybody have a strong preference on what that this, um, this stack for this site should be? Uh, that's the question you should never ask, right? So, uh, lately, Elementary has been uh, really useful for me uh, um, in terms of like static, if it's a static site. It's it's certainly uh, you know very JavaScript. <laughs> so that's a that's a that's a pro. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to do whatever the, the, the team wants here. It should be something we all feel like we can maintain because we're going to do it together. Um, I do believe that we've received some guidance or, or otherwise to, to, to please keep this to be using JavaScript technologies. 
uh, 11th in particular has been mentioned. Um, is anybody, you know, pretty adept at maybe bootstrapping, you know, uh, the single page 11T, you know, is, is anybody got a boilerplate for that that we could just use? Because I, yeah. I love working from a, 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 a template. We have a volunteer. <laughs> Who's our volunteer? I can be that. Yay. Awesome. Uh, that's great. So, so, you know, without much fanfare, it sounds like everyone, there's no strong qualms against um, 11 T uh, and we can at least get started with the, with a simple site. Um, so that kind of then leaves the question of, uh, you know, do, again, do we, do we feel like we have enough to, um, get started or do we think, are there significant chunks of materials that we feel are missing? Because uh, I wouldn't want to go out the gate having kind of missed something important. From the issues uh, we see, there's one which says uh, video series and uh, organizing user questions for curation standards. And so, uh, do we have a list of those links that, like, do we have a plan on what the landing page would be or what is that we are uh, planning to have for the initial launch? So the video series, I think we really viewed as something that was um, potentially separate or a feature add eventually over time. Um, that was from Ben. And, you know, Ben just sort of suggested there's a lot of great like written content, but some people don't do well with that. They'd do better if it was like a more conversational or video format. And so um, I just wanted to make sure that we captured that idea. So I created that, um, that issue, but I, I don't think we saw that as a, you know, must for the MVP. And then Mike Samuel did a bunch of great work kind of capturing the, um, Kind of user types, user um, experience needs, that kind of thing, uh, and I th I think we had um, a good idea to try and identify what what's the core audience is, maybe plural. Did I drop the personas doc? Yeah, yeah, drop that in, um, so you can take a look, and and you know, and then we could organize this content around those personas. Um, I guess, so I guess the question is, do we feel like that's, do we want to start with the, a specific persona and, and create this like first draft of the site for that persona? Um, or do we want to uh, just kind of start it as a, a list that's not necessarily as curated as, as we'd like it to be and then make the curation something that happens over time? I would vote for the persona if, if the idea is solidified or else we could just start with the set of links we have to. I think my concern is that, you know, I, I think I think what we have is really useful and I'd like to make it, you know, available to people. I'm afraid if if we try to get too precise um, that it might, you know, we might run into a perfect as the enemy of done kind of situation. Um, and I, I'd love to see us start some something uh, and start with something and then allow the community to give us feedback about what would make it better. So. Uh, I agree. Once we have a wireframe, I think we'll see if we have any gaps that prevent us from that MVP, but yeah. Let's not let perfect get in the way of good. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> I, good enough development on this sort of thing, I think is uh, totally reasonable. So, um, Hamanth has volunteered to uh, maybe provide a little 
110 boilerplates. Um, and we've got this list of materials, uh, or at least the, the resources started in that first issue that's standards slash education and onboarding resources. There's uh, lots of comments there um, with suggestions. And we could maybe just start um, by uh, roughly categorizing them and saying these are great resources recommended by people in our community. Um, please open a PR to add to it and then we can just sort of like go go from there. Um, the thing that we either haven't, haven't done is we haven't given it a name. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> ha ha ha. Um, yeah. I thought, were we going to start? I thought we were going to start maybe on a sub domain of OpenJS or we're saying we want to stand alone. I guess I'm confused. Well, I, I think either way, I think it, it has like the resource, it has to have a name. Has, it has yeah. To have a name. yeah. Uh, and I do think that the group here was um, happy to see it as a subdomain of the openjsf.org site, um, which is great. But uh, yeah, it still needs a, still needs a name. Still needs a name. Any, uh, anybody want to name something today? <laughs> resources, simple as that, maybe. Hmm? Just resources, as simple as that, maybe. Resources.openjs.org. I think last time we, we ended up with bookshelf. I kind of like bookshelf. Um, I kind of like that, actually. Joe, you're good at naming things. I'm good at naming bands, not, <laughs> <clears throat> not these things. Uh, it's tricky because resources, we already have like some resources in the CPC, um, you know, that's kind of has a different connotation. Um, yeah, I, you know, bookshelf reminds me of the book club. It's tough. It's, uh, it's a tough one. Naming things is hard. And knowing we have to have the word standards in it. Yeah. We do kind of need to have something that can, yeah. I mean, it's a good point. It should, should reference standards probably. Yeah. Descriptive sometimes often pretty handy with our audience. I posted this in the chat, but standards.openjsf.org. So if it were standards.openjsf.org, then that could be sort of like a gateway to all of the different, like it's not just the resources, but also like other efforts that we are, are pursuing, which I like. Yeah, and it can be also initially just the resources and we can later... Yeah. The fact that the site to be something more if we come to that. I like it. I mean, keep it simple. Keep it simple, make it fun. I like it. Just... Uh, another idea too, if we, if we want, um, we could just create a, a collaborative document and just everybody can have a free for all and drop stuff in there. And then we can kind of look at it at a, a future meeting. Uh, do you mean for like new, um, new resources or just like um, for, for naming this thing or for naming it? Oh. Yeah. Just naming it. So I, I think um, for, for now, we'll just call it the standard site. And, um, you know, we'll, that, that'll be good enough. Uh, and we can do a brainstorm doc for fun names, solicit a fun name from the community maybe, uh, and go from there. But this does remind me a little bit of like how ECMAScript got its name, which is they, brainstormed a bunch of names and threw 
basically a lack of decision making. It just was ECMA script instead of cool script. We could have had school, cool script, y'all. So I'm, I'm pretty sure Jen Schiffer already owns cool script. <laughs> right. so. And we have our JavaScript Landia branding team. Let's see what they say. <laughs> yeah. They can make a badge for it. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So I think there's, uh, we've, we've got a simple, straightforward enough plan for a 0.1 version of the site. Um, we've got possible names um, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. And maybe maybe in a couple of weeks, Hemanth, we can show a mock-up of the, of the uh, of the site and then get actual more feedback on it because it's hard to kind of discuss without maybe a visual. I feel it's easier to discuss when there's a visual. So um, maybe if we do that, that'll that'll get us over the hump and get this thing going. Excuse me, Jory. Um, I, I just, uh, this may be a Zoom malfunction, but I see a one attendee, but I don't see an attendee, but I don't, I don't know. I just thought I'd point it out in case somebody was oh. there. Um, oh, yeah. Weird. I'm trying to uh, too. click on the person to promote to panelist, but it's not working. I, I, Joe, I see the same thing. It's not, um, I see that there's one attendee, but I don't see a name or anything. It could be Zoom glitching. It does that sometimes. I just thought I'd mention it in case you saw it. Thank, thank you. No, I didn't see that, but I, but I see the same issue you're, you are. So apologies, attendee. Uh, for the error. Um, weird, 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 weird. Okay, um, so then that takes us, I think that that wraps that issue unless there's any other comments somebody might want to have on the uh, on the site. Um, going to pop on over to the repository, see if there's any last, I think there's like a Minutes PR if you want if y'all want to plus one the minutes from our uh, June fifteen meeting uh, and also from uh, issue one PR one forty six, um, which adds a, a bunch of other missing meeting mo notes uh, so we can get those merged in. Um, TC thirty nine is this week, so I don't think we probably have a any major interesting news from day one. Um, Jordan, unless um, missing. Day one is often just administrative stuff. So yeah. the uh, proposal got, uh, an Intel proposal got stage three, I think. And then a uh, the Realms proposal discussion overflowed. So has not yet either gotten or not gotten stage three. Okay. So we'll get more of a complete uh, report, I suppose, at our next standards working group meeting. Um, Brian and Mike, I'm not sure if there's, we mentioned TPAC is announced uh, in the AC office hours. Um, substantively, is there any news from W3C to share this week? Not that I can think of. Not that I could think of either. So uh right on um emily anything fun in unicode land jory got her no nope. not really at the moment okay. it, we're still working at the same things we've been working on for quite a while now Okey doke um Miles is our OSI person. I don't know if there's... Oh, sorry, I was speaking and muted myself. I was just saying Miles is our OSI uh, rep. I'm not sure there's anything exciting. Although, did I read that they, there's a new, um, they approved a couple new open source licenses? I know, and I think they're rerunning their election as well. Okay. Ding. Great. Ding, Mama. Okay, so uh, all right, well, I think that brings us then to the very end, plus some of today's agenda, unless there's any other business. 
I will close the live stream.